If you're encountering the fail to update firmware message in the Azure software, or have another reason to manually install firmware on your Azure keypad, you are in the right place. Close the Azure software and unplug your keypad. Hold down the indicated buttons while plugging your keypad into the USB port. After the keypad is plugged in, wait at least two seconds before releasing the buttons. Launch the device manager. If your keypad name has changed to STM32 bootloader, keep it plugged in. Proceed with the manual firmware installation instructions. You can skip ahead to step 5. If the name of your device is this, skip to step 4. If you see device Gilmot STM DFU device, you will have to delete these two folders. Then proceed to step 3. If you see anything else, including this device, also continue to step 3. Right click on the device and click on device properties. In the general tab, click change settings at the bottom. Switch to the driver tab and click on uninstall device. Make sure to check the box to remove the driver. After the uninstallation is complete, do not unplug your keypad or restart your computer, even if prompted. Go to the folder DFU driver. Run stm32 bootloader.bat. The process will be completed quickly. Once it's done, unplug your keypad and reboot your computer. After rebooting, repeat step 1. You should now see the correct STM32 bootloader device. If not, try steps 2 and 3 again. Unplug your keypad once more and launch the Azure software. Plug your keypad back in and try updating the firmware normally. If the update still fails, you may need to manually install the firmware. Visit st.com and download STM32 Q Programmer application. The link is provided in the description section of this video. Disconnect your Azure keypad and launch the software. Set the software to USB mode. Click on Open File. Navigate to the folder where you installed the Azure software and open the firmware folder. In the firmware folder, locate the bin file for your specific keypad model. Classic, Compact, Cyborg, Cyborg 2 or Cyro. Make sure to select the latest firmware version for your Azure model. Hold down the indicated buttons while plugging your keypad into the USB port to enter rewriting mode. After plugging it in, release the buttons after 1 to 2 seconds. Press the refresh button. If everything is correct, the serial number will appear under the refresh button, indicating that the keypad is ready for rewriting. Press connect. Once connected, the red dot next to not connected will turn green and indicate connected. Select the appropriate firmware for your keypad and press download. The process should take only a few seconds. A message saying file download complete should appear once the download finishes. To complete the process, press disconnect and then unplug the keypad. To verify the keypad firmware version, plug your keypad back into the PC. Launch the Azure software, navigate to settings, update settings and find the version info section. For further assistance, feel free to reach out to us at info at azeron.eu.